Engine 4. This time we are going to look into bitmasks uh, in Unreal uh, and we will show <laughs> how they are uh, useful, uh, how we can define them from blueprints, uh, partially from code or just uh, basically from code. Uh, we will go through uh, all bitwise operations uh, like AND, NAND, and, uh, XOR or uh, like bitwise shift operations left and right or negation and uh, yeah we will uh, just show all use cases uh, where they are much uh, simpler and easier to use and instead of just mm, having a bunch of flags in actor or somewhere so yeah let's uh, let's jump uh, just um, jump into this <laughs> okay so we have project 421 uh, this is completely new project and now i want to create just blueprint which is enumeration and I will call it uh, maybe something like character classes blueprint and I would like to define our enumeration so this is basically uh, enumerator which is enum uh, starting from zero and starting from one basically and every value is just increasing by one so uh, as you can see I can define this simply here and now I have four options now I will create five so let's just name name like mage class uh, let's name this sorcerer uh, let's name this warrior and then maybe i don't know something short elf <laughs> uh, okay and the last one is paladin and now something really important to notice uh, we have this checkbox bitmask flags and i will uh, uh, do, in, uh, do it on purpose, I will not sh uh, check this uh, flag uh, just for now, just to show you how, how uh, does it work without this. So let's uh, just create an actor and let's try to define our uh, enum or just bitmask. So I will just create a new blueprint, jump into this and in our event graph I would like to define a variable which will be um, uh, bitmask mask blueprint changing a uh, type to integer and uh, as you can see uh, in the details panel very variable you have something like bitmask and bitmask enum so whenever i check this bitmask it becomes uh, after compiling uh, immediately uh, bitmask where i can just specify default value by uh, selecting any of those flags so every of those options is just a checkbox. So I can just simply use this as a bitmask. But I can do this a little bit smarter. That's why I created this uh, character classes uh, blueprint enumerator. And I can basically check this checkbox. And uh, when I do this, uh, I will have uh, this enum right here. So we will be able to use it instead of those uh, predefined ones so uh, let's let's try to do this now let's uh, save this and now i have bitmask in um, available so i have my uh, i should uh, so let's compile this let's look into the bitmask and yeah i have my character classes bp so that's basically uh, how you can define new variable which is bitmask and is using this in um, uh, and now I can just uh, test this. So let's uh, let's create a short test. So I'm just leaving um, back in play, and I will do uh, for each for each uh, that was character classes BP. So uh, let's let's do this uh, quickly, and let's print all the values. Like I said, uh, they are starting basically from from zero, and I need to pl put my actor on the on the scene. So as you can see, okay, I printed the names. So to print uh, uh, to print this like this, I just converted this to enum uh, to integer, and now I have values. So as you can see, it's uh, starting from zero, then it's one, two, three, four, and basically this is not uh, what we want because every bit mask when we are selecting here. It's having values from uh, one and power of two, uh, basically power of two. 
So uh, zero power is one, then it's two, four, eight, and 16. So when I select something here and I print this, I will get this value uh, on the screen and let's let's look into this and I have one. When I select uh, mage and sorcerer, I should get three. I get three. And when I select a warrior, in addition, I will get seven because it's four, two plus one, it's, it's seven total. And how we can compare those uh, enums uh, with just normal values? Uh, unfortunately, here we need to make power of two. So, uh, so what, what I can do here, I can just use simple power. Uh, I can just basically link this uh, to float. So this will be um, two power of, of my uh, value and I can just simply get a floor. And this uh, function should give me this bit I, I really want. So whenever, so I should get uh, one, two, four, eight and go on and go on uh, for each of the, these values. So now I can just uh, create simple branch uh, which will be just my bitmask uh, in comparison uh, taking a end operation and uh, that should give me the correct result. So now I can print all values on the screen and let's check uh, how it works. So now I have selected mage, sorcerer and warrior and yeah uh, we have warrior, sorcerer and mage uh, on the screen, then we can uh, unselect sorcerer, maybe selecting paladin. In addition, so I should have those those options. And as you can see, this is uh, really useful if you want to uh, represent some uh, relation one to n when you want uh, to define all enemies. So basically, I have enemy like mage, warrior, and paladin, and I'm elf or something, and you have like many many selections uh, possible. Okay, so that would be uh, everything for defining the bitmask in, in Blueprint. Uh, and now we are going to look into, into doing the same in, in code. And then we, will, uh, we are going to use this enum defined in, in code, but doing this in Blueprints as well. So yeah, let's, let's jump into this. Okay, so I created empty C++ uh, class, which is my actor, and I would like to uh, maybe paste some code because I already uh, write this. So I will just uh, make a little bit of update uh, for this class. So this is my class I, I defined. This is my actor, which inherits from our actor, which can be placed on, on, on in the world. And here we have definition of, of the bit mask uh, of my enum, which, which is also defined as a bit mask. And here we have some uh, extra uh, macros, which allows me to, uh, to define or to test bits. But uh, I will go through this uh, later. And uh, in CPP, uh, you can pause this video if, if you want, if you want to have this, everything uh, just like this. And uh, in C++, I, ju I just need uh, also a little bit of code. Uh, here I just have a first inline method, which is just uh, finding enum and it's printing values like a string. And I'm using here just in begin play of an actor, just going through all my enums. I know there are seven of them because of a uh, number of elements here and testing a bit like like I just did this in, in blueprints but because um, these values are uh, already power of 2 I don't have to worry about uh, making this power of 2 but I'm just testing with this with um, my index being left shifted but I will also go uh, through this in a moment but the most important is how we can define our enum so it starts with uh, uenum and we need to uh, have a blueprint type, which is just exposing this uh, enum to, to blueprints. So since now we can just use this in, in blueprints, we can make uh, variables of it and, uh, and, yeah, and, and go on and go on. 
then uh, we are defining this as a bit flux which basically is saying that uh, these values are power of 2 so it can be used uh, as a bit mask and then we are using this use enum values as mask values in editor which is making I suppose this uh, value much much bigger because the only different I notice is just that instead of having maximum values of 5 then we can have more values so it shows just enum values and bit mask values like as many as we want to so it's showing all the values like paladin bar and barbarian monk and go on and go on and uh, um, underneath we have enum class flags which is just pure C++ uh, bitwise operation uh, declarations. So as you can see, there is like enum and operation and go on and go on. But uh, let's just not uh, uh, go into this for now. So uh, the most important is just having this for now here. And we are going to use this E character type uh, enum. And we will define this now in blueprints. So let's uh, let's try to do this after compiling. Okay, so we are back in the project and now I would like to look into uh, our newly um, defined uh, enum. So uh, now we can create a new variable which will be our bitmask uh, cpp. It will be also integer and when I basically do exactly the same what I've done before like selecting this as bitmask and selecting my enum which is e character type defined in code I will get uh, basically all values, uh, so seven values I defined in code. So now I can just simply select warrior, rogue, and sorcerer, and uh, printing all the values uh, on the screen. So I can just use for each uh, for each uh, e character type, and we will just print on the screen uh, values of it. But uh, you probably remember that I define them as power of 2 or they are defined as power of 2 so now it's much simpler to do it because now we will just uh, get ink from it and we know that it's a power of 2. Let's uh, check if it's really power of 2. As you can see it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So that's, that's correct. And now to print all selected values like we did before, we don't need any more power of two, so it's much simpler. So I just get my bit mask and and maybe not this bit mask but this one. Now I'm using a different one and just uh, getting int which is this one. And based on branch, I'm just printing all the values. So so let's do this like this, this, this and and that's basically whole setup so now it should print all selected values so we have warrior rock and sorcerer and let's print this warrior rock and sorcerer let's select fourth option monk it should also add monk yeah so as you can see everything works perfectly fine so now we can uh, dive into some bitwise operations so let's uh, Let's try to add another value, let's say barbarian. So what we need uh, to achieve this goal? We just need uh, in begin play, get our bitmask CPP and do some uh, operation, but we have bitwise operations and not or or XOR. And of course it needs to be or. So uh, if it's one, it needs to be uh, set it up. And I can just create a bit mask, which is really, really nice uh, node because allows me to uh, select bit mask options and I can simply select uh, this enum I created. So it's E character type. And now I can select like I would do normally from this checkbook, uh, checkboxes list. So we want to add uh, barbarian, right? Barbarian. So it will be monk and barbarian. As you can see, this is funny, like a, a vertical a line <laughs> for our operation. But but yeah, uh, and let's just set this uh, quickly and look into the result. So when I compile, 
hopefully it's not too much boring but but yeah and we get barbarian barbarian on on the on the top as you can see and uh, to clear one bit it's maybe more tricky because what we would like to to have to clear we need uh, end operation and we need to reverse this list so if i want to remove a rock for example we need to set this rock to zero and everything else to one so we need not operation so now basically only rock is zero and everything is one and if i multiply this is basically multiplying and operation i will get my result as 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 intended so i will reset my rock so it will be warrior sorcerer and monk so let's look into the result uh, okay i missed something of course setting this here and let's look into the result yeah and we have only three options so yeah if you want to find more about uh, bitwise operations i can send you to to some uh, document uh, there is a website like geeks uh, or geeks i will post this in in video description so there is like a really nice uh, explanation all of all bitwise operations so we have and or xor left shift right shift bitwise not etc etc so basically left and right shift is just uh, dividing or multiplying by two so in this example we, when we define something as five it's one zero one it will become two because these bits will be shifted right if we shift this right it will be two if we shift this left it will be uh, 10 exactly so yeah because it will be 8 plus 2 so it will be 10 so yeah uh, there are also some examples here so uh, i'm finding this uh, really really nice uh, written and simple to to follow so yeah and of course if you are implementing something from code uh, it will be even more useful that that you would like to to know exactly how it is uh, calculated so yeah that will be everything from uh, blueprint side and now we'll just uh, finish this tutorial uh, checking uh, how this character type bitmask code is defined so let's uh, look into the code once again okay so once again uh, we are back in in the code and i would like to show you how i defined my uh, bitmask value so i started with integer 32 for this character type bitmask code and there are basically the same uh, checkboxes, let's say, the same meta tags uh, used in code. So one is bitmask, which is saying this is my bitmask and all those values can be like checked uh, for checkboxes. And bitmask enum, which is saying which enum is used for, for the specific bitmasks. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. Everything what we need to define, declare here and yeah since now we can use this uh, in um, integer uh, from code and uh, what i would like to do here uh, from c plus plus perspective uh, as i showed you already i'm using a testing bit uh, so uh, those three macros are uh, testing specific bit setting specific bit and clearing a bit so it's basically the same bitwise operation and uh, you shouldn't be afraid of this it's just uh, putting a bit and uh, doing a left uh, shift as many times as this bit say, uh, say right so it's just like multiplying by two so if i put one here i will get one if i put two it will be like multiply by two if i put four it will be like two four eight and uh, this is 16 so you you are uh, hopefully you are not confused about this this is 16 this is 32 and this is 64 yeah and go on and go on so you have a uh, testing bit tested setting bit is uh, the same stuff like like before it's just or operation and this is like uh, and not operation so it's basically the same so yeah this is pretty simple but uh, powerful tool to to define those so uh, in the begin play i'm just iterating through all the bit masks testing bit and printing a name 
which uh, is using this uh, funny uh, macro or find object from package by name. This maybe is a little bit uh, inefficient, but but other than that, everything here is perfectly fine. Uh, alles in Ordnung. <laughs> so get name string by value. Uh, we have a value and uh, we print color white. So let's check if it's going to work. So let's get back to, to, to Blueprint. And now I'm getting this character type bitmask. Uh, yeah. And let's just print, uh, let's just do the call parent. And let's check if we have class my actor. Yeah, it is here. So now I should, yeah, if I if I select character type bitmask code, something like warrior, sorcerer, and barbarian, barbarian, I should get all three of those printed on the screen. Yeah, and I have white colors. Okay, so that will be everything for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully I convinced you to use some bitmask in the future instead of many, many booleans, and I showed how useful they can be. Uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't fallen asleep <laughs> during watching uh, this video and uh, if you are finding this uh, useful. <laughs> and as always, uh, see you next time.